This is so fire. Oh my God. Yes. Oh shoot. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy, Brandon. And I just wanted to come and talk to you guys a little bit about printing your work. Let's get right into it. Hold on, we gotta play the intro first though. Hey, what's going on guys and basically in this video I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about printing your work and why it's so important for you guys to actually see your work being printed and the benefits of actually printing your work so as you guys know ever since I've actually been doing photography I've really never printed my work I know that's crazy I've been do I've done some amazing work um, I've done I've printed I've never printed but I've shot some incredible things and I've never had my work printed and I never understood why so you know recently I've seen videos about people printing their work I've, I've, I've heard arguments I've heard you know just talks in general about how photographers should be printing their work so recently I've been getting into a lot of magazines and I've been really talking to a lot of magazines and talking about printing my work and everything but in my house you know as you see my bare walls I've never really printing my work I don't have pictures so I was like well one day I really would like to come into my house and just see my work you know be able to show your work off to people be actually able to see something because I don't think there's any more anything more gratifying now than actually seeing your work up in lights or seeing your work printed it's it's an amazing feeling because you can actually look at it and have a sense of pride and saying you know I did that you know that's my work so that's really something to be proud of is really something to take uh, on board because you work so hard buying your lenses buying your equipment learning lighting learning your equipment going out there on taking up your time taking up your models time and all this work that you put into photography so why not print your word not why not see it actually print it out it's something different than just going to your computer every day and editing your photos and you know, seeing them bad look and then posting it to social media or making a YouTube video about it, a video about it, and then you never see it again. You know, then and, and, and it really shouldn't be like that. I think everybody should really start printing their work. And there's a few um, that I would like to show you because I just had my work printed. Uh, I chose, and it's really, really hard because it's it's, a, it's it's kind of a battle because you get you have so much good work you don't really know what to print and you want to just print it all. So. Uh, my good people over at Adorama Picks, um, they've been helping me a lot. They they taught me to some things and told me exactly what I should do. Um, you know, the type of pictures that you should look for because you, that's another thing, you have to be careful. You really don't want to submit anything that's really, really high in saturation unless it's some, something like photography. I'm sorry, some, unless it's something like landscape. Um, but when you're a portrait photographer, um, just, you know, be cognizant about that. Um, a lot of the pictures that I submitted, I made sure they was somewhere around 240, 300 is DPI. Um, so make sure your color and your contrast and everything is correct. Um, but, you know, as you see the B-roll, I wanted you guys to see just some of the pictures that I um, submitted. I finally got back in work. Um, I'm not going to sit here and show them all to you, but, you know, just to go over a few that I had. This is a shoot that I did with... Um, my model Rachel when I went home to Indiana um, and as you can see like these blacks are like crazy dude like look at that now right now I am using a type of um, Kelvin right now so she might look just a little bit tad uh, red um, because of you know the kind of picture that I want for the video but when I tell you this thing is amazing this is amazing now this is 11 by 14 metal print um, and as you can see on the back, you know, I haven't even taken the tape and everything off of it yet, but I have a wall floating mount. So that way when it, when I put it on the wall, it's going to stick out, you know, from the wall and it's going to look like it's floating on the wall. And that's one of the things that they told me when I, um, you know, when I talked to my people over at Adirondack Pick. So thank you for hooking me up with this. These things absolutely look amazing. And um, I can't really thank you guys enough. Here's another picture that I did with uh, 
uh, with my model Faith. As you guys saw that, um, we did the hotel shoot. If you guys haven't saw that shoot, um, I'll link it below so you can go check it out. We had an amazing time. Um, and this picture was just amazing. Now, I'm really not a moody type portrait photographer, um, but this shoot with the way she looked, her the golden hair, her skin tone, her shirt and everything, I wanted to make this one a little bit more moodier, as you can see. Um, and you guys probably saw this, but the gloss and everything that they did was amazing. There's nothing like actually seeing your work. And, and you know, just actually looking at it right now, it's like, I can't believe like that's my work. Like I did that, like that's mine. So it's definitely a, a really good sense and a really good feeling guys that you guys should really take on board. Um, you put, like I said, you put a lot of time and effort into your craft of what you do. So print your work. Um, right now, Adorama Picks has a lot of deals going on. I know they have a, a coupon right now. I think it's called First 20, um, where you get like 20% off your first purchase, where it has to be over a certain amount. I don't I don't remember what it is. Um, but it is a gratifying feeling, guys. I'm, I'm going to find some places on my wall to post these pictures. But I just wanted to throw that out there that, you know, you know, we, we, we talk about it so much and we do so much in photography, never really take time for ourselves as photographers. Um, so basically, print your work, guys. Print your work, get it up, um, get metal prints. Now, like I said, these are metal prints. These were just a little bit more expensive than your regular uh, normal printing, but they have so many different types of printing that you can do. Even if you just wanna put your things in a photo book or a photo album, um, get the regular material type printing, glossy paper, um, and get it printed out. I had one big picture of like my logo that you guys see me at the back hat with the 8514 on the A7R2, which is my main picture. I had it blew up to about like a 20 or 20 by 30. Um, it's a regular print, but you know, I definitely wanted to see, you know, other work and other things that I could get and see the material, see the glossy finish and everything like that. So really, really important guys. Print your work, make it nice. You know, say it's already yours. So, hey, just take a chance. I would like to see all of you guys at least get one of your shots printed. You know, at least get one printed out. And then, like I said, get it out, print it out, put it up in your house, do something with it. So, if you guys print your work, let me know in the comment section below. If you've never printed your work and you really want to know how, send me a message. Hit me up on my social media pages www.instagram.com slash photography or facebook.com slash photography and I'll be able to help you guys out, tell you exactly what I did, tell you what you should look for when printing your work, tell you some of the things um, that you, you know, as, especially when choosing um, a picture to actually print because that's really important. People will tell you to print your work, but they won't tell you kind of the details on what you should actually look for in your photo when you want to print your work. You may have to do a little bit of editing, a little bit tweaking to make sure that the the settings and everything on the on the actual photo is correct before you actually submit it. Really important. So, um, last plug: photo walk this Saturday, August the 11th, Virginia Beach, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. We have a few tickets left. I'm still going to put that link in the comment section below. So if you guys have nothing to do and you live around the area, you live close to Virginia, whether you're in South Carolina, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, New York, whatever, whatever. I got people coming from everywhere. We're going to have a good time, guys. So, and, um, yo, there's going to be some things going on at this photo walk that is going to be quite amazing. So I love it. I am excited. I am ready. My team is ready. Let's go. I want to see you guys there. So, again, comment, like, and subscribe. Print your work, guys. All right? Really, really important. And I'll see you in the next video. Next video should be dropping this Wednesday, I think, with my model, Tara. Tara, Tara she's going to kill me anyway, so it don't matter. Um, so, until next time, guys, enjoy. Holla.